Okay, now we're going to do a light base for the eyes and we're just going to use a nice flat brush for applying the base. We decided to go with um, silver violet, which I think is going to be pretty full on Chloe, but that's okay. She's a pretty full on girl. So when you're putting it on yourself, you can just put it straight on, but... So you want to keep that brush nice and flat and we're just going to put it on the lower lower lid just keeping it below that crease and right down into the lash line Normally we'd put a black bright, a base all the way over, but I'm just feeling like the colour is going to be a bit too much if we do that. Okay, next um, we're going to do amethyst for the transition colour in the middle. More of a fluffy brush. And you want to get this just into this like outer corner and into the socket line a little bit and you just want to dab that on. You don't want it to go right up to the brow because that'll just look and then little circles to blend. If you feel like you've got too much on your brush, you can just like either on your towel or on, I use my hand as my palette. Um, you can just dab it off if you've got too much, and then just use little circles to blend. Because you want to like a blend between where the colour is and where it finishes. You want a soft blend. You don't want any harsh lines, unless you're doing like a crazy full-on makeup, and then you do. But I'm gonna use. Um, denim for our feature colour and the colours look really dark but if you put them on lightly they don't have to go on dark the more that you layer them on the darker they go I'm just cleaning up that line a little bit with your eyeshadow you want to make sure that um, an imaginary line between the nose and the corner of the brow you don't want any shadow to come past that point so you don't want it to come down here you want to keep it above that line Just a little bit with smaller brush, so um, there's more control in compared to that brush. This is for spreading and blending, and this one is, we don't want it to be too much. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of color and just pop it in this outer corner. So we're just gonna pat it on. You were just getting a tiny bit of the excess off then you don't know, Yeah, so. yeah, because I had a bit too much, so I just got rid of some. Just open and look at me for a moment, Chloe, and close. And I'm just moving it around by just patting it backwards and forwards. It doesn't look like much is happening, but it's just very gently moving the colour around where I want to open for me again and close and 
and open for me again and close so you just want to keep those edges nice and soft it's a very bold color but um you can make it you can actually put tape um, there and then you can make your edges really really bold and um, open for me and um, bold and strong or you can have them just soft so depending on what you like I put way too much color on there but that's okay Chloe got cut, excited about the colours. It's open for me and close. Just taking that away from where it's come down to today. This is sort of turning out to be a more sort of um, violety blue look, not so much her. Um, oh, I suppose it is a bit mauvey. And if you want to, you can bring a little bit of that colour underneath. And just open your eyes for me, look up. You can blink a little bit, like as much as you want, I mean. <laughs> Sorry. Just in the corners, I mean, you can bring it all the way under, but then it will just look like a really full on look. And it's supposed to be looking just like a, a quick everyday makeup look, but sometimes when you start, you don't know when to stop because it's so exciting. Okay, now I'm just going to Use a bit of almost nothing on my brush just to blend up here a little bit because we didn't have any base up there because I just felt that color would have been just too crazy. So I'm just using what's really nothing left on my brush just to blend that top in. And if you found once you've done it and you think, oh, that looks a bit full on, I'm really not happy with that. You don't have to take it all off. You just need to blend it away. You can put another softer color on the top and just blend it away. So. You can't really go wrong. Okay, how's that looking to you, Chloe? Absolutely fabulous. <laughs> now, if you want to add a little bit more glitter, we have Gua Sha glitter. Um, a lot of the shadows have glitter in them and some of them are matte, so depending on what your preference is. Um, this is quite glittery, as you can see. Um, so I'm just going to use a little soft fluffy and just pick up that color and just add a little bit more glitter just down here somewhere just open and look down for me that's it And notice how I sort of wiggle it. I just sort of wiggle it backwards and forwards and that makes it get right in between the lashes rather than just coating it like that. When you do that, you only get the ends or the mid lengths and the ends of the hair. Whereas if you wiggle it backwards and forwards, you get it right in there. I apologize, Gaynor, because I was trying not to get your nails in that shot. Oh. Because um, <laughs> you have had an extremely um, very rough week with your mum in hospital and very unwell. Yes, so, I have. Yeah, there has been um, no time for me. No, no personal time for you whatsoever. <laughs> so there we go. Just look at me. Yes, that's correct. Normally, I wouldn't get in front of any sort of camera with my nails like this, but hey, this is real life. That's exactly right. Sometimes it just can't be perfect all the time. No. Okay, so now we're going to use a black mascara. This is a volume, um, volume mascara, and this also has um, Grow Serum Capixel and will grow your lashes 47%.
pretty hard not to get my nails in any of the shots, really. It's okay, we're just keeping it real. <laughs> Although you are a su superb camera woman, are we? Yeah, I can't not get them nails in. down for me a little bit. When you're doing your own mascara, if you um, tend to keep knocking your nose with the end of the mascara wand and getting it everywhere, you can just actually dab off that bit on your somewhere, on a tissue probably, not your arm. Look at that sparkle. I'm going to transfer. And that's probably way too much, but never mind. Sure, so there's no foundation or powder on there because if there is, your lipstick won't stay. Okay, you can just pipe your lips down there. So you want to do three thin layers. So don't go over the same area twice. You can touch up, but don't go over the same area twice. Okie dokie, and then a gloss. Did we pick a gloss? No, I think we did. Oh, pink sand. Yes, we did. This is a beautiful colour. It's a new colour, and that is going to look glorious over the top. <laughs> the time you've done the top and the other side, then the bottom is dry, like it's dry by the time you go back up. So you can apply lots of gloss. When you use your own wand on your own lips, obviously it's just loaded with colour. But I will need to grab a little bit more. How pretty is that colour? What colours were they again? So, sheer berry diamond on the bottom, pink champagne, and then topped with um, pink sand gloss. And that just looks amazing. Okay, you can rub your lips together now, Chloe. <laughs> How does that feel? How does that look? I love it. <laughs> it actually has, yeah, turned out pretty nice. It's pretty full on the colour on your um, on your lids, but you're young and you're beautiful, and you can get away with it definitely. <laughs>